Hey guys, it's Melissa, and I'm here to do some reviewing and hauling over some of my friend Shannon's bath products. I got us a soap and a sugar scrub that I won in a drawing from her, and some samples that she included with that win, and also um, a whole stack of wax melts. So we got quite a bit to go over, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to go over is the sugar scrub, just because it's right on top. Um, it is a foaming scrub. It it foams in the shower. It's not overly bubbly, but you could definitely get, you know, use this as a soap. It is actually, the sugar is suspended in a soap base, a liquid soap base. I don't know, um, I think she made it. I don't think it's like a, a store-bought base or anything. But anyway, I love that she kind of took the time to kind of swirl the colors together in there. Um, it smells really good, fruity, tropically, a little pineapple. Obviously, that's what you would expect to find in um, a tropical scent, layered colors, so it's really pretty, and it's totally got the handmade look because she sticks the labels on there with the paper and everything. So anyway, I tried this on my hands, I really liked it, so can't wait to get a whole shower with that one. Okay, the next one is a bar soap. It's her handmade cream silk soap. The label says that it weighs 6.1 ounces. I weighed it on my scale at 6.4, so it's a bigger bar of soap than how it looks, and uh, check it out. It is the size of your hand. I love it. You could cut this in half if you have really small hands or you don't like holding bigger soaps. I know that she, um, in the drawing she said you could pick any soap you wanted, and I picked this one because I like coconut. She thought it was an ugly soap. I think what she doesn't like is that it kind of gelled in the middle, and then um, some of the mica seems to have not stuck in the mica line. But I actually really like it. I don't care too much so that's not how she likes it because I just like coconut and it smells good and this is definitely not a sun tanning kind of coconut it's definitely more like a coconut milk coconut flesh kind of smell um, I kind of put some dents in there I don't know if you can see them on the camera if you kind of see right here that does mean that her soap is on the soft side um, but not overly so. This is not a super squishy soap. Shannon, I know, uses a really, really high super fat content. If you don't know what that means, super fat is how much oil is left in your soap after you make it. And a higher oil content is what makes your soap super moisturizing. So it's okay that it's a little bit soft. It, it means it's definitely not going to dry your skin out. So really excited to try this one too. So then moving on to her soap samples. The first one is Morning Dew. And I love her little sample bars. Check these out. Look how cute is that. I mean, these make a perfect little guest soap. You're definitely going to get one or two full showers out of this. A couple of good hand washings. Mmm. It's definitely a fresh air scent. Not like a laundry scent, but like a good morning dew. I mean, the, the morning dew is what it's called. And it smells like it. And look, the top is textured, so she takes the time to texture her soaps, her soap samples, just like she does her soaps. Um, I'm guessing that she's using some kind of mold. Obviously, that's not being cut out of her soap loaf. Super cute. Next one is Moonlight Path. Again, super cute. Look at the white bottoms. On the swirly top. Hmm. This one is more of a, it's definitely also a fresh smell, but it's more got a perfumey scent to it, but it still smells good. I think that's a Bath and Body Works dupe, by the way. So the next one is Ambrosia. This is, I think, is her Love Spell soap. Look at the pink mica swirl. Super cute. Mmm, very citrusy and sweet. Some love spells tend to have a little bit of chocolate note. This does not. This is perfect. I, I like this one. I really don't know what it is with the love spells that go heavier on the chocolate note, but it's not supposed to be super noticeable. So those ones are better to me. And the last one of her samples is cinnamon sugar. Look at this swirl. Super nice, glitter. She takes as much time to package up her samples as she does her soaps. I think that's really unique. 
Now, I don't know how many samples that Shannon normally gives in an order. Um, she lives close by to me, and we are in a small little group of soapers kind of together, so I've never paid for anything that she's given me. Um, so I don't know much about how she orders. I guess she should have asked. Um, I should have asked her, I mean. But she does stop by. I'm sure she'll stop by to see this video, so perhaps she'll comment on what she includes for samples with orders. She does farmer's markets, so she probably sells them at farmer's markets. So here we go. Here is some of her scent shots. These she was selling for a dollar a piece. This one is Moonlit Path. And, hmm. That perfume note's a little bit heavier in the scent shot than it is in the soap. But look at the glitter. Really cute. And she sells these for super cheap, like a dollar. Okay, sun wash went in. I think this one is a Yankee dupe. Clean laundry day. She said, that she said the throw on this one is really strong. I like fresh scents, so I don't mind the strong throw at all, or the yeah strong throw on scents at all. Some people aren't big on clean ones. I like them. Okay, move these out of the way. Guess we'll stack them at the back once I'm done with them. Vanilla cream. Hmm. This smells like vanilla cake, y'all. It smells so good. Definitely a heavier, heavier classic vanilla scent. Not a buttercream vanilla, just a straight vanilla. Delicious. Okay. Chocolate cake. That smells good. It smells more of a real chocolate than I smelled on some other chocolates from people. Um, it smells like I have a candle and it has smells like this. It's a little like um like a Hershey's kiss, I guess is the best way to put it. Like a brownie. Smells delicious. Okay. You know, one thing I do want to say, um, the bottoms of these have been kind of falling out when I push on them. And I think that's probably just the result of using the wrong kind of plastic. That's very, very common with vendors, so I'm not going to hold it against Shannon. Plus, it does help to pop them out and get them out of the container in one go if you want to put the whole tart into your warmer. But I think number five plastic is what's uh, considered like the one that you should use for tarts. So the next one, this one is Strawberry Parfait. It's a sweet strawberry scent. No glitter on that one. Um, Mm. Yeah, it's definitely a sweet strawberry scent. It's not like a fruity, fruity, off the vine strawberry. It's some well, it is. It's somewhere between off the vine and sugary. It's not super sweet. It's good. Okay, pink sugar. I already melted half of the pink sugar. I love that it was so bright. The throw on these is incredible. Um, just using the one, I, if for three hours I could smell it, you know, nowhere in, you know, not nowhere, everywhere. I could smell it everywhere in my house for three hours. And then we opened up the doors and turned on the air because it started to get really warm in here. And so I couldn't smell it as much in the rest of the house. But I could still smell it in here in the office where I'm at. So, but yeah, um, just the half of it lasted for several hours. So I'm sure if you burn the whole thing, you probably get it to last most of the day, if not all the day. And I know that she's using the maximum amount of scent that her wax will hold. So she definitely designed these to have good throw. Hmm, Dragon's Blood. Um, if you're not familiar with Dragon's Blood, this is kind of the scent if you ever go into a medical, a metaphysical shop like where they do tarot card readings or things like that. Um, Dragon's Blood is usually one of their um, scents that are burning. At least I've smelled it in just about every shop that I've been in. And it has a very uh, incense-y smell to it. And if you're familiar with the Witch's Brew scent, or, you know, the, the Bitch's Brew, if you order it from some suppliers, then um, it has a little bit of that smell, too. It's very, very good, very heavy, great for men, great to make your house smell warm. It's um, it's just an all-around really, really good scent if you want a break from, from the bakery, or the, um, a break from bakery and fruit scents. So good. Oh. Japanese pear and ginseng. Once again, all the glitter. Very pretty. And I weighed a couple of these, and they weighed in at about one and a half ounces. I know when you get them in these cups, people say that they are um, 
but they're two ounces, and that's because the scent shot, it's, it's fluid ounces, but once something solidifies, it's no longer a liquid ounce. It's, a vol it's no longer a liquid ounce, a volume ounce, it's by weight. And so, oh. so by weight, that's how big the tart is, and they're one and a half ounces by weight. And the Japanese parent ginseng is fruity. It has a little bit of an effervescent note to it. It smells kind of like a, um, like a, um, like a grapefruit soda. I don't think there's such a thing, but that's what kind of it smells like to me. Raspberry and lilac. This one smells so good. I don't know if on the camera it's kind of see it's purple here and blue there, purple here, blue there. It's kind of swirl. I don't know if it's showing up really well, but in the scent cup, it's showing up really nicely. Mm. And this one is definitely, it's like, um, it reminds me of Calgon. Remember those old bath salts? Really fresh, really clean, yet fruity clean, not laundry clean. Smells absolutely phenomenal. Watermelon. Smells like watermelon bubble gum. She said to throw on this one. Of all the ones that she makes, she didn't like this one, and she didn't think it was very strong. So I haven't tried it yet. The only one I've tried so far is the pink sugar. I've been trying to hold off on these so I can do a haul. Also, I have some other testers I need to test before I can burn any more of these. Um, but yeah, that one she liked the least. Cinnamon bun. Smells like a cinnamon bun. Like the bread note is not as noticeable as the cinnamon note. I do know that this one is a blend that she made. It's not out of the bottle. Um, it smells like cinnamon and sugar. Something is baking cinnamon. It is so delicious. It is yum. It is phenomenal. I love it. So I'm actually going to switch up my order here a little bit and compare it to the cinnamon vanilla. And there we go again with the swirl. She's so artistic with even her wax tarts. This one is definitely the cinnamon note and the vanilla note. If you, I guess, on cold sniff, I can smell the vanilla in there, but if I'm just kind of sniffing it, it, it's like a very smooth, smooth cinnamon, whereas this one I would describe as more of a spicy bakery type of cinnamon. Hmm. So I think the vanilla and the cinnamon together will kind of, will be really nice when it's warmed up. It actually has a little bit of a, of a kind of a chocolatey note, but not, not heavy. That might just be the vanilla. A lot of chocolate scents are actually made with vanilla. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Cotton candy. Look at that. The pink and the blue stripes together. Who doesn't like a two-tone cotton candy? Mmm. You know, I might just mix this with the pink sugar and see what happens. Because pink sugar, the Aqualina perfume, is supposed to be like cotton candy. But it's a really super sweet cotton candy. You guys probably want to see this, huh? There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get out of its container. It's a really um, clean, lightweight cotton candy. It smells a little bit like... Um, there's a candy that smells like this, and it's probably cotton candy. That smells like this, but I was thinking it kind of smells a little bit like, like Mike and Ike's, maybe. Something like that, Swedish Fish. And the last one is Banana Nut Bread. Again, some sort of color in there. Shannon, I really love that you took the time to, to color these and not make them all like just one solid color. Mmm. Okay, so the banana. The banana is kind of the middle note in this as opposed to being like a tight, like a really high top banana note like you might find like in monkey farts. And it's a bakery type for sure. And there's something else I'm smelling in there. I'm not sure what it is. That's probably the nuts. So I would say this is a really fantastic blend of banana nut bread. I mean, it just smells absolutely phenomenal. It smells fantastic. I'm going to save this one for fall. But yeah, um, Banana nut bread. If you haven't tried it, give these ones a try. Like I said, I think they're a dollar right now. They're going up soon. I don't know how much she's going to put them to. I also know she's ordering a whole bunch of new oils. 
So she's going to have a whole bunch in stock. She's ready to ship. She doesn't do custom yet that I know of, but you can ask her. I will put her website address down in the love below, which is our description box. And I want to say thank you, Shannon, for drawing my name in your drawing and for giving me the opportunity to review all your lovely waxes. And um, I hope everybody enjoyed this video who wants to maybe try a new vendor. And I will speak to you soon. Thank you.